Yo, what's up guys here? It is GTA Pupser here and welcome back to another brand new GTA Online video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how there's a big major band wave going on in GTA Online right now. Probably one of the biggest band waves Rockstar has actually done to us. So let's get right into the information. So got Again, guys, remember in, you know, one of my previous videos, I talked about how Rockstar was, you know, taking back at this, uh, basically apartment glitch that was making hundreds of thousand dollars, the GT on players, online players that have done this. Now, again, I don't do glitches because, again, I don't want to risk this risk. Well, there's actually a brand new update to this. Now, a minor one of Kerr because... Uh, Tesfans2 actually tweeted out this a couple days ago. A wave of money resets occurred today, targeting the players who participated in the apartment garage glitch. Hashtag GT Online. And then he responds to go, It appears to be a complete character wipe. All progress, money, and everything. Hashtag GT Online. So I guess... When Rockstar was sort of cracking down on this, they sort of said, hey, to themselves, we aren't messing around. We are going to go all what it takes because this glitch is not inappropriate for our game. We don't want it affecting GT Online. We don't want it affecting our fan base. And basically, it looks like they've been starting to crack down and uh, apparently doing stuff now this all happened you know the part two to this you know saga like when this first came out of apartment glitch i don't think you know players were worried it just uh rockstar was just you know doing it just on a couple players i believe but now when i say that they're you know complete character wipes i'm not lying they're you know they're doing it on every player that i think occurred to this glitch now Players have been receiving this new uh, sign on GT Online. You know, you get those, you know, black signs. Either, you know, you got you won this much money in GT Online for free. Well, players, when they log on to GT Online, they have been seeing this weird message, but a funny one. It says, "Welcome. We hope you have fun in GT Online and enjoy all the latest content updates." Don't cheat or your account will be suspended and your character's progress may be reset. We use tools to detect cheating and may monitor player sessions for an additional verification where and when we will believe cheating is occurring. The online tab in the game menu also has an option to report other players who are interfering with their play. For more information on the suspension, please visit our support page. So wow, I never even saw this message on my when logging into GTA Online because first, I don't do any glitches or any sort because I don't want to get banned like all these players are doing and I don't risk anything nowadays. I want to have my account truly there. I don't want to lose everything like what players are experiencing. Again, we'll be hearing from players in a little bit in today's video. But again, this must be a new welcome sign that Rockstar is just trying to, you know, get people to think more, much better and I do appreciate that Rockstar is doing this because uh, hopefully people do realize why am I doing glitches because you know I am losing all this stuff and you know I saw this uh on GTA 5 Online's Twitter page a couple days ago and again that was the first time I ever saw that I'm like wow Rockstar has actually made this so again, it looks like players are, you know, really, like, mad at Rockstar for this. And, you know, sometimes I'm like, okay, yeah, you can be mad at this stuff. But, yes, I think you have a right to be mad at what you have just done to your account. And Bankway on Twitter responded to Rockstar Games and said, Thanks, Rockstar. Sadly, but gladly, retiring from this toxic blanking a game that does a ban waves keeps hurtful glitches around to grief in game players but patches money glitch in two seconds and wipes players for their mistakes enjoy gta guys so it looks like we have a player leaving gta online just for this case and he believes that rockstar 
you know, keeps these glitches that shouldn't be around, but then just wipes the money just uh, one second after this glitch has started. Now, I understand that they might keep, you know, hurtful glitches, as you said, but when you talk about money glitches, you're basically cheating on the game, man. So, you know, if you got your account banned, I understand because, you know, you did this money glitch, you know. It's simple that. I, I, you know, I don't really feel bad for you. Now, moving on to another guy named Cam. He says, I legit got banned on GTA for doing one money glitch. I've been playing GTA Online since December 2014. Everything I've done is legit for making money, buying shark cards, and earning a level 298. But I do one money glitch and get banned on site. So, blanking this game. So this guy pretty agrees that you should be doing multiple money glitches to get banned. And he said he only did one. And really mad that he just got, uh, you know, uh, banned, like, for just doing it one on site. And, you know, he's, say, he's telling Rockstar why I made this legit money buying shark cards in the past. Well, when you do one simple money glitch... That's all it takes to get banned, man. You know, they aren't messing around. This is a video game. You know, you shouldn't be cheating or violating their policies as they have on their support page. Now, moving on to something that, you know, I'm sort of uh, determining what Rockstar, if Rockstar should do something about this. And a guy named uh, Killzone on Twitter said, Thanks for resetting both my PS4 and PC accounts. Can I get a refund for all the shark cards I ever purchased since the beginning of GTA Online? And it looks like this guy has got banned from this, you know, banned wipe. But he's actually making a point to Rockstar. You know, he might have bought all a lot of shark cards and lost all the money from the shark cards and lost tons of money. He's asking if he can get a refund. And I really don't know if Rockstar can do anything like this because, again, you have cheated on your account and violated the rules. So, again, it's always a good sign, guys, if you got banned from this band wave and have shark cards and just want to know if you can get a refund. Uh, I don't know any update on this, but all I can say is if there's a solution, again, I'll be sure to update you guys. And... My final solution is just a content Rockstar support page. Again, I don't know this answer. Rockstar and their support team does. So again, guys, I think you should reach out to them. So again, guys, I want to hear from the comment section down below. What do you think about this band wave? Do you think Rockstar has made the right move on this band wave? And, you know, think they, they you know, made, like, they want to ban all these counts for this reason? Because, again, it is cheating you know my opinion is that you should get banned only for one ban yes i do agree on that because you're violating the rules and there's just nothing you know to get through there's nothing that you can do you did it and that was your choice so again guys if you did enjoy today's video a like rating would be awesome subscribe if you're new to join the gta pupster channel my name is pup here and i'll see you guys in the next video peace